Welcome back to the show. It is always a pleasure to have our next guest, and not just because he brings us chocolate. Yeah, of course, uh, Valentine's Day coming up, and also this month you have the opportunity to try some delicious hot chocolate from all kinds of chocolatiers around town. And our fave is joining us, Thomas Haas, joining us from Thomas Haas Chocolates. Hello, Thomas. Guten Morgen. Ja, grüß Gott. <laughs> oh, what, what, I don't know. Did she, did she say it right, though? Yeah, she, it was no accent. Just like my English. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. Thomas, uh, what are we doing today? We're making hot chocolate? We are making, yeah, in honor of the chocolate festival. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I thought we do one of our most well-received, most popular hot chocolates. What yeah. we um, This offered. has always been part of your repertoire, right? Ever since yeah, the hot chocolate it. has always been popular and we take great pride in it. And you know, you can have them in the tins and we have a new packaging now. The real for deal. Our, for our classic hot chocolate. and. Um, yeah, through the festival, actually, we got inspired, you know, that, hey, we can... Try something different. Yeah, so what try are we, different. So what kind are we making today? Today we make the, um, it's a spin on one of our chocolates. It's a uh, classic hot chocolate with soft caramel, caramel chantilly, and a little bit of uh, fleur de sel, and it's served with uh, two warm chocolate sparkle cookies. Can we cookies. talk about the sparkle cookies? Because they are like a little slice of heaven. Yeah, they are. Uh, what are these? I don't think you could pack more chocolate flavor into a smaller package. I don't think it's possible. It's basically what we sometimes sell them as a baked chocolate truffle. So it has no flour in them, just chocolate, a little bit of almonds. And a they're so light. OK. And, um, and we need to go back to, uh, what is this, a caramel chantilly? Caramel chantilly, yeah. Caramel what, what chantilly. does that mean? We, Make it easy for you to understand a caramel whipped cream. Okay, <laughs> thank you. So, what's the complicated version that I can't handle, man? <laughs> oh, I know, <laughs> yeah. And it's straight. We're taking out of five minutes of the, <laughs> of the show, but what? it's a lighter version of a whipped cream made with caramel. Okay, okay. and what is it about the combo of, you said, fleur de sel and caramel oh, that is so that good has together? Been, yeah, I mean, we, I don't, it's not our invention. It's something yeah. which has been long time done. I think we were probably one of the first who uh, brought it back to Vancouver or mm -hmm. actually where uh, a combination of sweet caramel and a little bit of something salty just like yeah. you make a salad vinaigrette you know balance it off really well and that with dark chocolate has become a, a customer favorite so yeah, it is an yeah. incredible harmony we it's brought a really beautiful. simple looking espresso machine here today uh, and Forbes claims that you can uh, steam but but micro steam Microfoam. Microfoam. Micro, yes, what's yes. microfoam? What's the difference between just foaming? No, really, I can one, do it. I don't one, know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> microfoam. So, but, I mean, that's the, the technique uh, to make a good cappuccino and a good latte or a good hot chocolate that mm -hmm. you almost get this fine textured air inside the milk, uh, which is shiny and it has micro, micro, micro fine bubbles instead of the soapy, okay. non shiny right. bubbles. Uh, you listen right. to that? You really think you're capable of microfoaming? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. I can. So Am I doing it right? Yeah. First of all, I've never used this espresso machine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know <laughs> it's going to come with some challenges here. Yeah. You do this. Yeah. Beautiful. Can this I hold is, your hand? You can hold my hand, Thomas. Okay. There so we now, go. Yeah, okay. okay. I got it. Out. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. You know what? And Isn't it going to get really hot the way Fiona's holding it? I can do it. He's a control freak. Yeah, but look at how hot your hand's gonna get. You're oh yeah, you might want to. No, I'll do it. Once you can hold it trust anymore. me, trust me. Okay, you keep on doing it. Yeah, I know <laughs> she is very um, bossy, confident. domineering, confident, and, bordering um, on angry. Only because and, he doesn't believe oh, me. Oh, beautiful! Look at this. If you create is that this microphone, swirl, I don't know if the camera can see that, but if you create that that swirl. Um, that will create, oh no, that's I don't know if I'm bubbles. getting it the right temperature though. No, but you do just I just fine. made it weird. Yeah, no, that's beautiful. Liar. Just don't show the audience. <laughs> no, so. You are, yeah, you are lying. <laughs> I had it almost good there. <laughs> Thomas ran Is away it okay? with it before. So, what's the yeah, it's a, it's it's a little bit, but then in the hot chocolate, I, um, it might not make that much of a difference okay. as long as we have <laughs> as, as long as we have nice volume so I don't okay. know if you can see that and I advise every customer who wants to make it at home it lies all in the steaming of the milk really so now to get this creation done so okay. we have a clear caramel which we cooked right which is like oh. this so we put this on the bottom yeah okay Oh, oh. espresso has got she's, a mind of his own. She is talking to you. I'm getting away <laughs> from that thing. And then um, I already put four tablespoons of our hot chocolate in mix in there. Yeah, yeah. we might four need four tablespoons. A, yeah, I mean there is play with it. I mean, it, it, it all depends. It all depends on the um, size of your cup. Right. Ain't that the truth? 
<laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, what are you putting in there? Is yeah. that just more chocolate? Yeah, I go. For a 10 ounce cup, we would use uh, half a cup of our hot chocolate mix, which is a variety of three different chocolates. Yeah. Um, a little bit of cocoa, no sugar added, Tahitian vanilla, a pinch of salt. Nice. Here we uh, go. What kind of chocolates? Like a dark chocolate or a. Yeah, uh, 64, 66, and 68%. Perfect. That's exact. I was gonna guess no, that. No, me too. But. So now uh, I think we want to have a little bit more volume. Yeah, I can do multitasking. Can we? Multitask? <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about some. Well, first of all, let's talk about this because uh, this sort of has one of your favorite Pardon? things in it as well. What? This is our chocolate lovers uh, Valentine's basket. And yeah. it comes with pajamas. Yeah, it's um, <laughs> if you buy it in XL, it becomes a pajama. If you buy it in the right size for you, then it's a running jersey. That's Cycling cool. jersey, running uh, jersey. Run, yeah, we do have that as well. Nice. And you've got all sorts of other little, and even and traditional, our, that's cute. Yeah, we always do something traditional. Last year was a, um, a full leather box. This year it's um, the velvet. Mm -hmm. uh, well, nice. Boxes, yeah, and then we every year we do creations. I love these, uh, which are handcrafted, completely edible, and a lot of work. But uh, our customers love them. And Each so one unique. is unique, and um, not one looks alike. They're nice. all different. Okay. Okay. We can go back and focus on the hot chocolate. So yeah. now you see. Yes, sir. It yes, should Thomas. it should have the little moussey texture, ah. which is that's very important. That's because he fixed it. Here we go. <laughs> you did wreck okay, it. Just, he's being really nice to you. I know. But so well. we've got our our chocolate, our hot chocolate in there. But now we yep. are going to do what? Now, now we're just gonna uh, add more chocolate. Wow. Well, I think we could have a, a touch more of darkness in there. You can whisk this. Whisk <laughs> in the business. meantime. So now we add our what was it called in this uh, cup? Chantilly caramel, is that? Caramel chantilly. Caramel chantilly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So there this is go. like the um, chocolate festival version of a floating island in chocolate, I guess. Okay. Here we go. Look at this. Thomas is crazy. <laughs> He's <Yeah>. not crazy. <laughs> and then we have here. Chocolate. Uh, caramel. Caramel? Yep. This is called oh, yeah, soft caramel. caramel. Oh. Or the French would call it the caramel mou. The, the caramel mou. mou. So what are we oh. doing with this? Are we doing more? Uh, is it liquid? Yeah, you can add a little bit more there. So, I mean, those are for the two of you. Oh, and I know you're going to complain if it's not strong I don't enough. I know if I did a good job. We just are adding more chocolate flavor. Yes. There we go. Okay. Does that look like a better color? Yeah. Here we go. It wasn't quite stirred. Now we. Beautiful stuff. Sprinkle over the. And while Thomas is doing that, we're going to tell you you can uh, check out Thomas's fabulous hot chocolate at either the North Vancouver or Kitsilano store. Yeah. Locations Fleur Little Fleur de Sal. For more information on the Vancouver Hot Chocolate Festival and other participants, you can go to cityfood.com. Bam. 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 <laughs> and of course, you can pick up all these lovely things. Oh, yeah. Yes. Now it's hot there chocolate. You go. Well, cheers, Thomas. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thomas. Thanks Always for having a pleasure. me. pleasure. And uh, happy you. birthday very soon. You uh, and me. Yeah, we have the Aren't same birthday. Are you guys birthday, going to Thomas the Roxy? We're going to the Roxy. Back bar, me and Thomas Haas. Woo!